got a little guy here. Very little guy. Who just came off? Kind of been uh, the way things have been today. I hook them, they come off. Well, can't really say much. I mean, that's the second one I've hooked, and it's the second one that's come off. So, just had another little bite. up again but it's actually I kind of like where it's at right now honestly I mean it's kind of nice really I mean it's usually super shallow I haven't been able to post a video for a couple days. I had some some chores to do at home. So I really haven't been able to fish that much the past couple days. This late this uh Memorial Day weekend. Kinda had some chores to get done. But I will be out here every day this week for sure. Another little bite. Little tiny fish right here. There usually is anyways. For some reason. I mean, yeah, my biggest fish so far this year was actually in this area, just up river a ways. But it seems like in this spot, I get a lot of little tiny strikes. You know, even if I put a small fly on, they don't seem to really want it. I don't know. It's really weird. But it's still nice to feel that little bit of activity in the river. Even if you're not catching them, just feeling them bite is kind of nice also. So I feel pretty good because I am up to 31 subscribers and like 1,200 views, which I think is so awesome. Um, some of the subscribers that I have, they have YouTube channels, and I've been watching them. There's this one, it's uh, Nix. I hope I'm saying this right. Nix Outdoor Adventure channel. Really cool. I mean, it's a cool channel. Um, I will put a link to it in the description to his latest video. It's a really cool channel. He does a lot of bass fishing and some vlogging, which is I think is pretty cool, you know, to kind of share your day with people. Um, but yeah, it's a super cool channel. Definitely check it out. It sure would be nice to get a fish on camera today, but I'm getting close to the end of my my plan of where, how far down river I was going to go. So, yeah, I kind of came out here just on a whim, you know, I got, um, got my chores done for the weekend and figured oh, I'll go out for a little bit, and, you know, see how everything's going out here on the river. We, uh, with the, with the Labor Day or, excuse me, Memorial Day weekend, been a lot of people floating out here and so when it comes to holiday weekends you, you kind of want to steer clear of the Deschutes River if you can because there are so many inner tubers and it's just it's crazy 
It really is. How many people go floating by? I'm just going to fish to this little uh, little dock up here and call it a day because I do have to go to work tonight. But like I said, I'll be back out here tomorrow for sure. And it's going to be a little warm, but for me to go a couple days without fishing, kind of driving me nuts. So I don't care how hot it is tomorrow, I'll definitely be back out here. And hopefully catching some fish hopefully you know if they do decide to uh, keep the river this high because they're talking about possibly doing it year round so even in the winter it would be fishable water it would be safe water to wade in which you know would be really cool I would love to fish this water in the winter. Love to. But we just get, the water gets so, so deep and so fast right now in the winter, it's just really not fishable. You know, it's not safe to wade in, of course. I mean, it's kind of scary, honestly. Even just standing on the edge of the river watching it, it's it's crazy. I mean, the debris that floats down this river from people's yards, it's insane. So, I am pretty excited though, on the, the 9th of this next month, a friend of mine who also has a YouTube channel, We'll be coming over to stay at my place for the weekend and fish the Deschutes River with me. I will also put a link to his YouTube channel in the description. You guys will really enjoy his channel. He does a lot of uh, you know, fly tying videos, Tenkara videos, which that's what I'm fishing with right now is my Tenkara rod. Like I've said in my other videos, I've gotten really addicted to it. So, yeah, I, this is about pretty much the only thing I've been fishing with lately. Unless I'm going to, you know, fish with streamers or woolly buggers or something. You know, you really can't do it with a Tenkara rod. So, yeah, this was a... Uh, wouldn't necessarily say I got skunked, but I didn't get a single fish in the net, which is too bad. I was really hoping with this cloud cover, it would have helped because, you know, earlier today it was blue skies, 87 degrees, and now it's you know, cloudy skies and, you know, still in the 80s, but it's, you know, definitely nicer than what it was and a lot cooler. And I'm feeling some raindrops right now. So, oh, that was a good, that was a pretty good bite. Let's float it back through there and see what happens. They're not violent geese. Geese can get a little territorial sometimes, especially when they have that many babies. There are a lot of baby geese right here.
There they go. I don't know if you can see them or not. They are cruising across river. Alright, well, kind of at the end of my my little fishing adventure here. I want to thank everybody for watching, and like I said, the rest of this week, I will definitely be posting videos every day. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And... Be safe out there on the water and keep on fishing on. So I just shut the camera off and I was reeling in my Tenkara line and while I was reeling it in, as you could see, I caught a fish while reeling in my line. So see if we can get this guy out of the water gonna reel it up a little bit more here so yes reeling in my tinkara line I caught a fish as you can see tinkara line rolled up fish right here <laughs>